Good morning, everybody. It's Amy Bennett from The AM Show. I hope you're doing well this morning. Um, I have a quick window here to share. Um, the first thing I have to tell you about is the new podcast is out. Um, season 9, Episode 2 is out today with Autumn Miles. Um, she is an incredible uh, women's ministry leader um, and radio show host out of Dallas, Texas. She is an absolute powerhouse. I say that in the introduction of the um, podcast. Um, I have been watching her, listening to her for the past two years and have been, I don't want to say such a fan, but like I've just learned a lot from her and um, couldn't believe it when her people, her people reached out to my people, me, <laughs> her people reached out to me and she has a new book that uh, came out this month and um, had the opportunity to interview her. She, um, She's just amazing. So I hope you get to listen to this week's podcast. Um, she's actually a, uh, I want to say this too, she is a uh, survivor of domestic violence. So in case anybody's triggered by that, I just want you to know that that is part of the conversation. But she, uh, God really redeemed that and obviously is using her in ministry and it's just so awesome to see. So hope you get to see that. Um, today, I just want to read over you uh, some, it's a set of verses that meant a lot to me last year. It was actually, um, my like verse of the year I guess you could say uh, my word for the year was trust and then God gave me this um, section of scripture I think I've actually talked about it maybe last year sometime when it was um, my word of the year uh, but it's just well I'll, let me read it and then I'll and then I'll speak to it a little bit okay so this is it Isaiah 41 um, 8 through 10 but you O Israel and by the way I um, replace my name there but you, Amy, <laughs> but you, O Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. For So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And there's just so much we could unpack I mean if you could I mean just even my notes in my Bible like there's a lot I could speak to here but there's just a couple things that I want to remind you today is that God is with you God is with you you are not alone he says I am with you um, God is sovereign so he's in control um, he says I am your God I am your God that's not just anybody I'm your God to be somebody's God is to mean they are a control we serve him he has chosen us we are totally um, everything submits to him that's what it means to say when God says I am your God um, so he's our God he's with us and he calls you a friend so that means that when it's a friend that means he is good and he wants good for you and so whatever is happening um, you can know that he is God, he is sovereign, Tucker agrees, <laughs> um, he is with you, he's sovereign, he's with you, and he's good, and he wants good for you, okay? Um, so that's my quick encouragement, and there is something that just settles in me when I am reminded of that, is that, you know what, God's got this. <laughs> God's got this. I do not need to worry. And I just love um, the end of that verse where it says he will strengthen you and he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. And let me just say, I just have to pull this out. I wasn't going to talk about this, but when he says the righteous right hand, it's important that it's right because when he separates people, his sheep go on his right his sheep go on his right and so he is our shepherd we are his sheep he cares about us he he goes after the one that is lost um, so just remember that um, he cares so much for you and he is in total control when we are submitted to him um, you are his daughter you're his daughter you are not his enemy you are not his um, servant he is your friend um, your father and we can just be encouraged with that today Okay, so I'm gonna quit talking. I want to say good morning before I have to hop off here. Um, I'm in, I'm in, um, I'm on car duty today, and I still have to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> um, so, um, let's see, Darian. Um, good morning, Darian. Nancy, um, Nancy, you able to make it live? So good morning, um, Teresa. Yay! She said God woke me up in time to watch this morning. Thank you, God. Um, hopefully that was a word for you, Teresa, um, and you were encouraged. 
um, Marie, good morning. I hope your tooth is feeling better today now that you've gotten it out. Um, and Amy, good morning, Amy, you're live. Um, yay, thank you, Lord. Um, she's able to catch it this morning. It's exactly what I needed to hear this morning. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay, that encourages me. Um, is, every morning I'm like, should I go on or should I not? And you know, when he gives me a word, I, I'm just so encouraged to hear it when it speaks to you guys, because I know that that was God speaking to me. It just like, it confirms what God is doing. So it's like win, win, win all the way around. Um, okay. So, um, oh, there's so much more I could say, but if you could just pray for, um, oh, still in pain from the infection. Marie is still in pain from the infection. Um, my daughter think has got an infection. She's going to the doctor. I got stuff going on. Oh my goodness. Okay. So y'all could just pray for our family and uh, we're doing good. Y'all listen to the podcast today. You're going to be encouraged from her and, and follow her on Facebook. Um, Autumn Miles, look up Autumn Miles on Facebook and Man, if you want, she does these live videos like this all the time, but um, hers is a little bit more um, raw, and she is she's a powerhouse, guys. So if you if you like this live video format, she does it too, and she's awesome. So I hope you follow her. Okay, guys, I gotta go make PB and J. Okay, y'all have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye.